Hey guys, what is up? It's Ghost Squad 57 here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick gameplay and commentary of Bastion. Um, the reason I chose Bastion is because I have a lot to say about this game. Uh, it's a very fantastic game, and it runs well on my system. Uh, I'm running Debian, GNU, slash Linux testing, just for all of uh, you folks out there that are curious about my distro. So, Bastion is probably my second or third favorite game for Linux. Uh, I really didn't think I'd like it, but, you know, I gave it a shot because I heard a lot of positive things about it, and I was immediately blown away. I really fell in love with the game's narration style, and just the gameplay and everything was very well done. Uh, here. Now, uh, I should probably explain a little bit of things. Okay, so uh, this is what's known as the Bastion. And what you have, to, what you do is you go over here to this little skyway, and this, then you click which level you want to go to, and you click Fly, and it takes you there. And once you beat the level, you get a core, and then you take the core and you put it in here, and it restores part of the city. And then you get to choose with build, what building you'd like to build. Um, I've already, I've, o I've only gotten one core, and I used it to build an arsenal, which lets you change what weapons you have equipped. You also get to change the, your special attack. Your special attack is done with the Q key. Can't do it in the Bastion, but in combat I'll show you. Um, of course, using that drains your little special meter over there, which is the black bottles. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive right into the gameplay of Bastion. So yeah, one of the big things about Bastion is its narration. Uh, throughout the entire game, uh, there is a character that narrates the whole what, like, all the events that are happening. And at first, you, you would you would think it'd be annoying, but it actually adds a lot to the story aspect of the game. Some people seem to get annoyed by it, but I don't see the problem with it. I think it adds a lot to the game, but whatever. Yeah, so this is the forge. With this, you can upgrade weapons. Uh, of course, you need items in order to upgrade them. Like, I want to upgrade my bow. I need something stringy. And if I want to upgrade my hammer, I use something heavy. And upgrade my hammer. Uh, and once you get that item, you actually choose what upgrade you want. It will also cost you money. So let's see here. I want 50% more damage or 10% critical hit chance. I'm going to go with 50% more damage. I don't think I got enough to upgrade the rifle. Um, so yeah, Bastion is a very uh, the gameplay is very simple. You, your, you, uh, your primary attack is left click. Your secondary attack is right click, and guard with shift and evade with the space bar. Your primary, primary attack and secondary attack all depend on what weapons you have. I have the rifle and the hammer equipped it right now. So yeah, as you can see, the enemies in this game are definitely unique. There's a lot of variation. So yeah, as you can see there, I'm actually using my special ability. That's why my character's doing that little spin with all them bullets flying. Or needles, whatever they are. Yeah, yeah I'm just breaking stuff to get money. I actually got something sharp, which is an upgrade for the machete. So once I get the machete, I can actually use the something sharp to upgrade it. It also costs a little bit of money, but not that much. And 
Now, I actually got a story item, the Ragged Hood. You actually take that back to the Bastion and talk to one of the the other character that's with you, which is the old guy, and he t explains to you what the item, the significance of the item. And here's the machete right here, actually. This is more of a... speed weapon. Like, the hammer is definitely about power, but the machete is more speed. So it's great for taking out a lot of smaller enemies. You can also throw it by holding left click and then letting go. Although it doesn't do much damage unless you let go at the same time. Because you see, uh, the best time to let go is as soon as the main character flashes, because it does extra damage there. I actually got a new uh, special, and uh, when I press Q, it summons this little, summons one of the little squirts. But instead of being an enemy, he actually helps me. It's not awfully useful. It's probably the upgrade I use the least, to be honest. Uh, I should probably mention that these fountains are used to restore your health tonics. Yeah, so that's the uh, crystal core I need in order to... Wow, I'm doing really terrible right now. So yeah, I just got one of the cores I need to bring to the Bastion. And... Alright. And once you get the core, all you have to do is take the Skyway and it'll take you immediately back to the Forge. And uh, that's actually the character right there that narrates everything. And uh, as you can see, I just put the core in the monument. And that lets me. And then I go over here, and I can actually pick what I want to build. I can build a forge, which lets me upgrade my weapons, or a distillery, where I can pick my abilities. Um, by abilities, I mean as you play through the game, you level up, and you get to pick sort of what ability you want for each level. Some it might do something like give you more luck, give you more health, something like that. So there's definitely a lot of uh, RPG elements in Bastion. Uh, I'm gonna build a distillery, and you see here I get to choose what I want. Let's see here: critical hit chance, speed while defending, one chance to carry one at, uh, one extra one up. I'm not gonna get that. Uh, 10% critical hit chance and 10% max health. I'm gonna get that one. Alright, uh, I'm gonna get the bolt burst as my special. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get the uh, breaker's bow and I'm gonna get the breaking volley. As my special attack. So yeah, whenever you find a story item like the ragged hood I found earlier, you actually take it up to him, and he actually tells you what it's all about. Let's see here. What? Should, should I do? We'll do the melting pot. So yeah, not being able to hear the narration is definitely uh, definitely kind of sucks because uh, 
like I said, the narration adds a lot to the game. It really does. Oh, I just fell off. Alright. <laughs> yeah, it's very easy to fall off if you don't pay attention. Alright, let's come through here. Get the something nasty. I forgot what that's an upgrade for. Here. Uh, oh, okay, it's for the Fang Repeater, which was the rifle I was using. So, so now I actually have the Breaker's Bow as my secondary and the Machete as my main. Because I think this is a good level for the Breaker's Bow. I can't really remember. Oh, this is the Landmine upgrade. Or Trip Mine, my bad. Same thing. And these are just what they sound like. They're landmines you plant down, and when an enemy walks over them, it actually detonates them. So yeah, Bastion's definitely a uh, pretty fun. Right now, I'm just hacking and slashing away at enemies. So yeah, right now I just gotta kill. As I just gotta. Uh, hold off until the cage opens so I can get the core sort of an endurance round I actually got a uh, friendlies here play on a trip mine did a nice pretty explosion nope I've been attacking an enemy or attacking a friendly the whole time wow how long have I been doing that? Alright, let's get rid of... Let's grab some more of these special tonics. Or black tonics, that's what, they call, that's what they're called. I don't know why they call it that. Yeah, I gotta hurry up and destroy these little popcorn machines before they start, uh... Spawning a... Butt-ton of, uh... Squirts. Which are them little things that are following me. Wow, I'm taking a lot of damage. Wow! That flamethrower just messed me up. Good. Plant some landmines down since they've been throwing me a lot of tonics. there. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's time to get out of here. Let's put the core in here again.
build a forge. Alright, now I can upgrade my weapons. Let's see. Hmm. Get this. and figure out what the ancient spices are for. So yeah, the whole point of the uh, cores is actually to restore the city. So as you get more cores, the city actually comes alive more. And these are actually... It's actually a proving grounds right here. This is just where place you go to and you try to uh, beat the little challenge they got up and if you the better you do the uh, better upgrade you get I'm just gonna try my luck right here ah uh, come on This is definitely, uh, the, the Proving Grounds are definitely actually pr are pretty challenging. Let's take out these sentries here. So yeah, the trick is, is to throw it right when your character blinks. That way it uh, does a lot more damage. See right there, I uh, did a power shot. Uh, this is actually really annoying, because these squirts right here actually run away from you, unlike the blue ones, which will charge right at you. So it's a bit challenging actually getting them. Come on. I'm probably going to get the worst uh, reward. Well, I'm not throwing at the right time at all. Uh, ah. Gotcha. Oh, ah, ah, oh. Ooh. See, I would love to use the bow or repeater here, but you can only use the machete. It's the whole reason of the challenge is to help you get better with it. Throwing it and stuff like that. Mostly throwing it, because these enemies like to run away. Oh, oh, he turned right when I threw it. Come on. Wow. Oh, he's standing still? Oh, yeah. That's what you get. Come on. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, it's funny. I've actually played through this game. Uh, and no matter what, I could do, like, probably three or four of the challenges and get the highest rank on them, but this challenge, I could never do it. It's just I hate the I hate throwing the machete. I'm terrible at aiming. Okay, last one. Mm. There we go. Now I got the something sharp. Uh, forgot what that is, but I know that's a uh, a new special attack that involves the machete. It's a pretty good one if I remember correctly. All right, so I'm gonna play uh, one more level before I. Call it a day. Oh wow, I didn't know I could zoom out and in. That's pretty useful. Let's see here, let's upgrade the machine. Oh, I don't got enough money. Damn it. Alright, screw it. I'm out of here. Let's go to the sundown path. Sounds lovely.
like how there's like bongs <laughs> throughout the game. That's kind of funny. Uh oh. Yeah, so on certain levels, when you take the core, the levels actually, like, start falling apart. And you got the, you have to hurry up and get the hell out of there before the place completely falls down. Ah! Just somersaulting like crazy right now, jeez. Is it? Should have had, should have used a hammer. It's great for destroying uh, bridges or boxes and stuff like that. Hammer's probably best for destroying things like boxes. I hate them centuries so bad. Oh, get out of the goo. Ooh, a fountain. D damn, I hate them once I run away from you. I really do hate them enemies. Die! Stupid ass popcorn machine. Oh, damn floor fell on me. So yeah, apparently in this level, someone else has took in the core before I could get to it, so Let's see here, I have to kill him, here, so hopefully I can go, go, ooh, hand grenade, oh, this is one of my favorite items. Boom! It's definitely one of the more satisfying special weapons. So yeah, it's definitely a very... Uh, like I said, a very heavily story-driven game. And uh, later in the game you find survivors, and then you figure out what exactly caused the calamity, which is apparently what did all this to the city and destroyed it and caused all these monsters to come out. Um, anyway, that is the end of my little Bastion Let's Play. Uh, let me guys know what you think. Remember to leave feedback in the comments. If I missed anything, let me know. I'll make sure to uh, cover it in my next Let's Play if I do another one. Anyway, uh, Ghost Squad 57, signing out.